guys, Christmas is right around the corner. It's a time to be with the ones you love and to do the things that you love. So this Christmas, I wanted to go back to some of the games that really helped kickstart my channel and take another look at the best Easter eggs found in each of those games. Today, we're going to be jumping back into Dying Light, and it just so happens that Dying Light is currently on sale over at Chrono.gg. So, if you love the game as much as me, I definitely recommend going and picking it up. Just use the link in the description or on screen now so that they know I've sent you. Anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at Dying Light's greatest Easter eggs and secrets. <laughs> Dying Light has perhaps some of the most unique easter eggs I've ever seen, and that's one of the reasons that I just love it so much. Take this first easter egg for example if you don't believe me. During one of the game's escort missions, you can just wander off and find a switch in a warehouse. And if you flip it, then this will happen. Now I bet that's not what you were expecting from an open world zombie em up. But what if you're after something a little less, let's say, zombie-ish? Well just head to this location in Old Town to find a pipe hidden in a chimney that may look pretty familiar to Nintendo fans. Oh yes, by interacting with this pipe, you'll be transported into a first person recreation of World 1 from Super Mario, complete with Goombas, parkour, and even a little firework display to finish things off. But perhaps you're not a fan of Mario, fair enough, don't you worry because Dying Light's easter eggs can scratch that itch for you too. How does Plants vs Zombies sound? Well, by finding a secret flower during the broadcast mission, you'll be magically transported to a recreation of the popular game. And don't think this is just a half-baked reference, this is a fully playable minigame featuring plants that actually attack the zombies, zombies in the classic Plants vs Zombies costumes, and even tiny little zombies. Dying Light Man, nothing even comes close to its easter eggs. Whew, those easter eggs have all been a bit complex. Sometimes it's nice to just take it easy and look at something simple. Well, once again, Dying Light has us covered. Perhaps you'll like this reference to the popular Valve game Left 4 Dead. Except it's bread. You get it? Well, if you like that pun, then you'll love the Bites Motel. Just like the Bates Motel from Psycho. Except it's for zombies, so they bite. That does make sense, doesn't it? Dying Light's main game was by far the only place housing some really cool easter eggs. The following DLC also has some easter eggs just as good as those in the main game. Do we have any Potterheads out there? Well, if so, you'll like this easter egg. Out in the countryside, tucked away beneath the stairs in an abandoned house, will be a recreation of Harry Potter's bedroom. Now, I'm not just pulling this out of my ass either. As you can see, there is a wizard's hat on the bed, but perhaps more importantly are a pair of glasses on the bedside table, which are in fact the exact same style as Potter's very own specs. There are some pretty interesting items that you can find across Dying Light's open world. Things like nuclear launch codes, military activation keys, and uh, abandoned nuclear weapons. You may have noticed a theme here. That's because the following has a secret ending if you collect certain items. That basically means you can just skip out playing the DLC altogether. Thank you. 